So this is our irregular hips rafter calculator uh, for a hip roof. And uh, as you can see, when you have an irregular hip roof, instead of uh, having your hips run at 45 degrees, they run at a different angle because you have a major pitch and a minor pitch. So you have two different pitches. So we can see here, you can, use, you can enter in the pitch angle or you can enter in the in pitch in inches. Uh, you want to make sure that, if, uh, that you only put one number in, in each one of these, otherwise it will uh, not come in correct down here. So you could technically put 33.69 degrees in this box and 8 and it should work, but uh, I don't advise that. I just advise either the angle or just the pitch. So um, you can see that uh, this is for a rectangular building and this does not account for offsetting the hips and changing the heel heights. Um, what I would recommend is if you have a, a building that you want to do that with, then uh, you would factor it to the overhang length and then enter in your building span and building length um, with the overhangs included in them. So if the building is actually 20 feet and you have a one foot overhang around the outside, then you're going to want to make it uh, 22 feet um, on this calculator and then you're still going to have to factor in your own heel heights, but it will give you the angles of all your rafters and the lengths. So you can see the building span 20 feet, building length 40 feet, common rafter width, uh, inch and a half, hip rafter width, shows a three and a half, let's change that and we'll make it an inch and a half, let's just keep all of our stock at an inch and a half. The ridge width, inch and a half, the plate width is five and a half, Set rafter spacing, we'll change to 24, major rafter pitch overhang, we'll make it 24, show feet and inches, yes, so if we hit click, draw a regular hip geometry. So it shows us that uh, our major plan angle is 56.31 and our minor plan angle is 33.69. This, this is what the hips are running at. And um, major common rafter pitch, 8, gives us the degree of the pitch, gives us the rise. Major common rafter run, 10 feet. The length is 12 foot and 1 quarter. And again, that's without deductions. Major common rafter overhang is two feet. It gives us the major common rafter overhang length, so the length of the tail, two foot four and seven eighths. And the major common jack rafter difference is uh, three foot seven and five sixteenths. And so this is on the eight and twelve side that our rafters are going to deduct three foot seven and five sixteenths. Now our minor common rafter it shows as a twelve and twelve. We have 6 foot 8 as our rise, and notice we had the same rise as for our 8 and 12 because uh, that tells you that the math is correct. The uh, minor common rafter length is 9 foot 5 and 3 sixteenths. The minor common overhang, 1 foot 4. And uh, what this is actually giving you here is it's calculating at this point if, uh, if you're going to do a hip roof that's irregular and you're not going to offset the corners of the hips to keep the overhang the same, it gives you the difference in overhang that you would need to shorten the 12 and 12 side so that the fascia lines up at the right height. And again, if you were going to factor this from the overhang and not the building, then you would just disregard these overhang numbers. Minor common rafter overhang length. Uh, gives you the length of the tail and uh, minor common jack rafter difference in length on the 12 and 12 side the deduction for our jacks is much shorter it's 1 foot 10 and 11 sixteenths and uh, minor common rafter half adjustment so since you have two different heel heights and uh, again this is only if we are leaving the overhangs for making them different and not offsetting the hips but we're going to have to make up a difference of 1 foot 5 and 3 eighths for our heel height or our half height adjustment. So the pitch of the hip they're saying is 9.41 or 29.02 um, is, is the angle that it is. This is on the square 9.41 and 16.97 for the unit triangle. Hip rafter run it uh, is telling us that the run of this hip is 18 feet 3 eighths. The length is 20 foot 7 and 7 sixteenths. The hip rafter overhang run 3 foot 7 5 sixteenths. Get overhang length, hip rafter major side shift quarter inch. And uh, this is reflecting because without backing the top of the hip, you're going to have a quarter inch offset height difference from one side not lining up with the other. And uh, hip drop is 7 sixteenths. So to drop the hip, we need to, to drop it 7 sixteenths of an inch. And these are our fascia miter angle cuts for our square cut fascia, which is important. 
Okay, so after we uh, the hip section here, we see it goes back to the major pitch hip plan. And again, it's showing the angle that the, uh, the hip runs at on the major pitch side. It gives us the backing angle if you're gonna if you're gonna bevel the top of the hip on the major pitch side of 17.92 gives you a major pitch hip backing bevel angle rise. So if you're to measure down the side of the hip a quarter inch and uh, and set your saw to this measurement then uh, or degree, then it would bevel it just right. Major pitch bevel mark rise. Uh, the major pitch plumb backing angle is 20 degrees. Gives us your side cut angles, jack rafter side cut angles, 29.02, and uh, gives you the freeze block angles. So everything you need here for all your different angles and cuts for a uh, irregular hip roof is given to you in this iframe. So again, um, you should have no problem cutting irregular bastard hip roofs with this calculator.